Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So I wanted to give you a quick update on Ernest, a.k.a. Ernesto Williams, who is currently married to Shirley Strawberry of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest has been in jail for over 400 days and just had a preliminary bond hearing. They gave him a new bond amount, suggesting he be on house arrest for 24 hours a day, where an ankle monitor and no drugs but prescription drugs are allowed. He cannot speak to his co-defendant or any of his victims. And let me tell you, that victim list is very long. Pretty much they said the only person he can call is Jesus on the main line, but honey, when you see all of these crimes he's done, Jesus probably got him under scam likely. We are going to get into this and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this case and so much more. Now let's get back into it. So Ernest Williams had the summer jumping like a chat line because every week he was hit with new charges and it made us question, Shirley, who the bleep did you marry? Ernest was an ex-con who rebranded himself as Ernesto, who many saw as a devout entrepreneur that had over 20 years in the men's grooming business. He opened Ernesto's Cuts, which was a 24-hour barbershop, as well as Ernesto's Cuts Mobile Barbershop. Now, this barbershop catered to NFL players, NBA players, as well as government officials and media personalities. Now, Ernesto became a part of the Who's Who in Atlanta, winning many awards and accolades, as well as being featured in the New York Times and the Atlanta Journal. It also helped that he was married to Shirley Strawberry from the highly acclaimed Steve Harvey Morning Show. The two were believed to be some major movers and shakers in the hot Atlanta scene. That's up until their own world got rocked and Ernest, aka Ernesto, got locked up with his then girlfriend, Miss Erica King Hugler Rothschild. Investigators swooped in on Ernest and Erica King last year, stating that they would align themselves with victims wanting to grow their brands, life goals, and social media following tricking these people into giving them money and the money added up to millions. Police started tracking them after they stopped paying rent on the home that they shared together. And according to news outlets, the home that was under investigation is right next door to the same home that Ernest shared with Shirley Strawberry. So Ernest was locked up many times last year for charges like firearms, stolen property, reckless conduct, conspiracy to commit a felony, check fraud, deception. And those weren't all. Those were just the not so serious charges. We're going to get into the serious charges in a minute. But Ernest got locked up so many times last year and Erica was there for her man. Ernest was locked up February 7th of last year for conspiracy to commit a felony and Erica decided to go into the jail pretending to be his attorney attempting to save her man slash Shirley Strawberry's husband. To her dismay, the name Rothschild threw up red flags to the police and she wasn't able to get him out. But months later, she was arrested for not only that, but for forgery charges, criminal trespassing, false statements, and identity theft. Now, many of these crimes they committed together. She ended up doing eight months and the crazy thing about it is that out of her 26 charges five have been dismissed and she got an unsecured judicial release for the remaining 21. It seems like sis sang a very sad love song to the prosecution and gave up her boo Ernesto and this trial for Ernesto will reveal that sis was not down to ride or die for him. When it came to that she said "Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Now on to Ernesto's more serious charges and I'm not calling his previous charges not serious. I'm just saying that when you have charges regarding kids or you have charges regarding you taking someone's body without their permission, those are pretty darn serious to me. And obviously they're serious to the court as well because his bond for those charges are extremely high. Now in doing my research for this case, I've discovered that each document that Ernesto has has a list of charges and below that list of charges are the victims. And honestly, there's so many victims on each of these documents that I thought they just grouped them all together for all of his charges, all of the victims are listed, but that's not the case. Each document has a list of charges and the victims listed are grouped into those specific charges. Now for the charges of child P, there are two charges of child P where he was in possession or in control of material depicting a minor in sexually explicit conduct. And then two other charges where he was in possession or in control of material depicting minors in sexually explicit conduct. 
Needless to say, there are 13 victims. Of those victims, two of them are his kids. One is his girlfriend. Shirley Strawberry's daughter and her children are three. I have a realtor, a lab tech, an aspiring actress, and a teacher. And there were three other names that I had a hard time actually trying to verify if they were indeed the ones in this document. Now, of course, out of those 13 victims, they are not all minors. However, it does say that he has to stay away from the children of those victims as well. Now, when they had his court hearing, his attorney tried to downplay and it was like, yeah, and they said they have one picture. And and the attorney for the state was like, no, there's actually four. So with there being so many victims and there being four pictures, I don't know if he did some type of pick stitch. And I did not hear Ms. Taylor tell us whether that was more than one picture in those five counts or not, but I thought it was one picture, or at least I believe that's what Mr. Majeski told me, but it's been so long ago since he talked about that. It's, it's four. Your I Honor. think it's four. Yes, ma'am, Ms. Clark. Ms. Yeah, Mr. Majeski addressed it. There were numerous images actually and as a matter of fact um the the reason the case is still ongoing the, the investigation is ongoing several more witnesses have come forward between january and now they're still coming forward we're trying to have a thorough investigation before we just indict we can't just I guess. I'm not sure what happened, but I know there are 13 victims listed. The date of this crime for all four charges is July 7th, 2022. And that happens to be the date of one of his arrests as well. So I'm thinking when they went in to arrest Mr. Ernest, they took his computer and his phone and some other pieces of documents. And that's how they were able to bring these child P charges later on down the line. Then it's the victim that he came into contact with twice. She'll be 22 in October and she's the aspiring actress that I told you guys about. The first charge was for the R word and the second charge was for sexual battery and the third was for trafficking a person for sexual servitude. Now she had just turned 18 and then he saw her again two years later and that's when the aggravated sexual battery and the aggravated sodomy charge happened. Now this is the only victim listed for these crimes but she's also on the list for the child P charges so I'm wondering if he has picked pictures of her before she turned 18. With this man, you just don't know. But on the 14th of this month, he had a bond hearing for the theft by deception and the three credit card fraud charges. Now they gave him a 7,000 bond for each charge, totaling $28,000. And they ordered him to wear an ankle monitor and to stay away from the victim, which is the teacher. When you look at all of the charges and all of the bonds that Mr. Ernest has, he's not gonna be getting out of jail anytime soon. His bonds are close to a million dollars and he has a lot of no bond charges. He's a flight risk. They're not trying to let him out of there. He has a few pre-indictment preliminary hearings coming up that I will be updating you on, as well as a sentencing in the month of September for a charge that he did plead guilty for. Now, Shirley is not following Ernesto anymore. However, she still is following in his parlor doesn't look like much was going on on that page anyway she probably just forgot to remove it now at first he was still following her she must have blocked him now to cancel him from being able to follow her altogether. not sure what made her do that but seems like Shirley is finally catching the jig what I need to do in the meantime in between time is hear from you what do you think about everything going on with Mr. Ernesto how much time do you think he'll be getting do you think there'll be a trial or do you think he's just gonna go ahead and plead guilty to everything leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes